Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Quick Grips. Today I have five Walmart boxes, uh, mega boxes of Absolute Football, everyone's favorite product, including mine. I'm joking. I know everyone hates this product. You've told me numerous times. Um, I'm probably going to give up on it, but I did purchase these five a little bit ago and they were in the mail and they just came today. Um, I haven't opened a ton of Walmart megas, but to be honest, I'm not expecting not expecting much. I just I guess I conceded that hitting a kaboom is impossible. I've seen people do it, but I've had I've had no luck. So you get six packs in a mega box. You get uh, seven cards per box, but. Um, if you're not familiar, that's the Walmart Mega. It's more of a square. You know, you're you really you get some black parallels and um, your ultra rare kaboom and explosive inserts are are what you're hunting. The only thing I've ever hit was this explosive Lamar Jackson. It's about a hundred to hundred twenty five dollar card. So I mean, it's like your cost of two and a half megas, and you're probably not gonna hit an explosive. They're very hard to hit, so. Don't count on it. I've just always wanted to hit a kaboom, but the product, oh, Mac Jones, good lord, get out of there. Um, the product itself, and the, the base cards are real poor. That's your, your rookie silvers and then your par black parallel. I mean, it's the worst parallel you've ever seen. This font, they just changed the color of the font. Like, they didn't even put any work into it. So, most of the cards, they, they don't have value, so... It's like a lottery ticket. You either hit the kaboom or explosive or you bust. You, you get one auto or one mem per um per box. This pack's giving me a lot of trouble. Um, this pack is bad. This pack is tough. Um Wow, that was difficult. Um, let's see. One, two, three base. So you get three, four base, two rookies, and then your parallel, which is pathetic. Um, you get one auto or one mem per box. Don't be fooled. It's almost always going to be a mem just like that. I've opened too many of these, and it's I've only gotten one auto, so you're always going to get a mem. The mem's pretty bad. There's a Quentin Johnson. That's considered a good one because it's a rookie. Uh, but every time I open this product, when I'm done, I'm kind of sad that I even did it because it just feels like a total, total waste of money. So I, I think I gotta stop and just put my money into some other products because they're forty-five bucks at Walmart or a Target, fifty for a Mega if you can find them. Hit Walmart, and your only way to get on the upside is hit an explosive or a kaboom. And, you know, I just, it's just not going to happen. I played the odds, and I've lost. So I got to I gotta give up. Take your guys' advice and just bail on the product. And I don't think I'll ever buy it again, even next year. I'm just going to stay away from it completely. I know the blasters, um, blasters are utterly terrible. Um. I opened 90 blasters with nothing. So the blasters are in this insert's real bad. The blasters do have better uh, inserts because you get the by storm insert, which is kind of a cool insert. It has a little bit of value, but um, the megas have a, from what I've been told, that's the only chance of getting a um, kaboom. But I, I know you can pull a kaboom out of the. That's one box, guys. So zero dollars in value. A few rookies there. You can pull the kaboom out of the blasters, but I opened three sealed cases and then a bunch of random ones, five, six, seven here, or there, and never got it. But when I knew I ripped three sealed cases of a product and didn't hit, there was a huge red flag that um, you know, wasn't gonna hit. So I'm sure these are bust too. This will be the last 
last of my kaboom chase hopefully hopefully i don't get go to the store and get trapped into picking one up but they're just it's just ugh, it's just a sad sad product and they only get away with it because there's people like me out there buying it Such junk. Even the rookies, I donate a lot of them. Like most of the rookies, I'll put away, but I'll only stack away a few of the cards um, that I consider might have some value. But these are just we're just talking trash. That's the that's the parallel guys, the black parallel, because the name's different. They have a pink parallel, they have a green, they have a black. They just said we're going to change the font on a few different um, players. It looks like they have some sort of numbered card maybe in here. Um, yeah, Debo. That's not even numbered, is it? No. That's a Debo Samuel parallel, but it's sometimes these will be numbered. This one's not even numbered. So this would be like a hit. Fortunately, it's not even numbered. It's cool. That's actually like a cool, the cool parallel that they did make, but it's hard to hit a numbered one out of it. So it's tough, tough rip. It's tough to stay positive on it. I'm not gonna try to fake anything on it. There's your uh, another insert. That's the absolute burners patch card. You're gonna get a patch in the megas. You can count on that. If you do get an auto, consider yourself lucky. I think I've got like one, maybe two, like Kalijah can't see. Um, uh, it's just, it's so hard to pull a kaboom. It's not like the downtown this year. Um, I sleeve up this by storm. Like I said, it's the only cool insert and it's all rookies. I have the whole set except for Richardson because I've opened way too many, but there's just so many other good products out there. You guys can rip for 45 to 50 dollars um and get value if you don't hit big uh prism dunrus mosaic pretty much anything honestly prism's got a handful of products out right now value packs uh the hangers the megas the um the blasters there's just so much they offer right now where you're better off just ripping that instead of wasting your time and, and money here because i mean i'm look at this is this is tough but thought thought i hit a kaboom but i gotta i gotta cut my losses and invest and in my time and energy into something that'll provide you guys better content but don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel i could greatly appreciate the help because I'm not earning anything with these videos, of course, uh, right now, and I'm spending a lot on these um, beautiful, absolute boxes that I know some of you have told me to stay away from. I think this is my patch pack. Look, you could hit like a Puka or a Richardson Auto, I believe, in here, but it's not going to happen. Another Josh Downs patch. I've hit that one a bunch. And the cards you see me not putting over here, like those are being donated. So out of all the blasters, like look at, or all the bagos, like that's it. If it was a different product, I'd have a bigger stack. But these are, these are just tough. Let's see if we can get a lucky. There's a rock out insert. Last pack of our third mega. And then Hooker, Derek Hall, Richardson, insert. I don't even like that insert. It just looks cheap. All right, we got two more megas to go. The, the design of the box, I think they did a good job with. I don't know. What do you think? I think, I think it's a cool-looking box. The red, 
the white and the black. They did it well with the matching of Bijan and the Falcon. So I think the design of the package is real nice, uh, to be honest with you. I think they did a good job there to lure you in to buy it. But if you didn't know much about these cards, then you'd be disappointed and be like, oh, I got, I got a rookie card of whoever. Oh, wait, it's not worth anything. So, I don't know. I'm starting not to believe the people that say they pulled, like, cards in this product. There's another red, white, and blue. I'm having real bad luck. This is these, A lot of these are supposed to be numbered, and they're not. So, I can't figure that out. But I guess I'm just not getting the good pulls on the, the red, white, and blues. It, I do say I like that card. It's a really neat parallel. I think that's how all their parallels should be. But... I like ripping the packs, but it's hard when you, you just have constant failure. Let's see, we got three more packs in this mag, and then we got one more to go. Um, three, four. She rice. All right, we got this is a mem. We didn't hit an auto in this box either. We won't hit an auto. That's that's lun lunacy to hit an auto. I don't know why they just think they're so valuable. And then we hit a Stetson Bennett bat uh, patch card, which yeah, that's the worst one you can get. That and Keishon Butte or Booty or whatever his name is. Those are the worst patches because I don't think those guys are. I don't think those guys are even in the league right now so the patch cards a lot of times I've bent corners with this product so it's not the greatest I pull the Stroud woohoo Stroud base oh I got my Richardson by storm I needed that to complete my set so hey I can walk away with this a winner I got my Richardson by storm I can get the set done that's pretty sweet and then I got a Stroud base. All right. Like, that's a win. I don't. I think it's like five bucks worth of cards. I don't even know. All right. That's the win for the box. Is that the last pack? It's depressing, I know. Yeah, it's the last pack of that box. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's get to it. This is the last MAGA I might ever rip for absolute. Pray for me that it is. Um... Sometimes I don't have the self-control to stop because I just feel like I lost, but I don't know. We'll see. One time, last box. Give me the kaboom. I don't think it's happening, but just, let's just hope. Okay, what do we got? I think the Kaboom's like your second last card from what I've been told. I just can't believe Panini made the Kaboom this such a hard card to pull. I thought the downtown was tough to pull, but they made the Kaboom like... It's freaking ridiculous. And it, we got dummies like me that keep buying it, even though the cards you're pulling and you're not getting the kaboom are worthless. So it's, ah, it's my own fault, for sure. But maybe you guys are getting some enjoyment out of my pain here. All right, two packs left, guys. Let's hope for the best. I don't think I pulled my patch. There, there it is. So no autos again course um say ah crap a rishi rice you can get numbered patches um no so i said you could get numbered patches i'm not likely to go all right last pack of absolute let's see that kaboom oh justin fields and we got no no kaboom no kaboom total fail 
Oh, this product is the worst product ever made. Don't make my mistake. All right, well, that was five, uh, five megas. Another $250 down the tubes. What did I pull? Bijan by Storm. I got no number cards. I got the Rodgers on the parallel. Uh, Debo on the parallel. Some base rookie. Nothing exciting. You know, I, you get your patches. So I got my five patches. Um, this one's worthless. That's kind of worthless. I got three rookies. Josh Downs, Johnson, and Rasheed Rice. Okay. And then the two, I don't even know. Biggest cards, Richardson by Storm to complete my set, and then the Stroud-based rookie. So nothing exciting, as you know. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.